University of North Dakota. Today for our cheap, fast, and healthy meal, we are going to be making two ingredient pizza dough into a homemade pepperoni pizza. So before beginning, I'm going to preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm going to wash my hands for about 20 seconds, making sure we're using warm water and soap. We're going to get underneath our fingernails, in between our fingers, at the back of our hands, and all the way up and around our wrist. Okay, so we're going to gather our ingredients. So for the dough, we have one to one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. The one fourth, the extra one fourth cup is gonna give you a crispier crust than the one fourth cup. Next, we have two thirds cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. We have mozzarella cheese. We're gonna be using one fourth cup of mozzarella cheese. We're gonna be using one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna be using 17 slices or 30 grams of turkey pepperoni and olive oil. And then we also have our pizza sauce. So first we're gonna start with our pizza dough. Here I have the flour and the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. For flour, I like to weigh my flour out. So I used one cup of flour or 120 grams of flour. So I pre-weighed it out. So I'm gonna put it into a mixing bowl. And then I'm also going to mix in my yogurt. So here again, I weighed it out. You can also just use two thirds cups. Use the spatula, scrape it. All right, so we're just going to mix this up with a fork and you're gonna mix it into crumbles. So it should be crumbled at the end. It doesn't have to be super smooth. It's okay if there are chunks. Incorporating yogurt into the dough helps to increase the protein content of the entire pizza. So I'm just gonna mix it. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty crumbly, which is totally okay because next we are going to knead the dough. After mixing our Greek yogurt and flour, in the mixing bowl, we are going to transfer it to a clean flat surface. I poured or kind of sifted flour over the surface to help prevent any sticking of the dough. So what we're gonna do is we're going to knead this dough together. So just make, we're gonna kind of push it together until it is one. I like to have a little dish of water beside me just in case the dough remains crumbly. The water will help to combine all of it together into a smoother piece. That was my oven that just went off. So it's at 500 right now and ready for me whenever. So I just poured a little bit of water to help knead the dough and get the little crumbles kind of all combined. Knead your dough until it is all combined into one. We wanna be careful that we're not over kneading our dough or our crust might come out a little bit chewy. So after kneading the dough, we're going to transfer it onto a nonstick pan. You can use parchment paper, spray, olive oil, and then we are going to spread it out so it is going to become a thin, crust. So we are going to work our dough and spread it out until it is a nice thin. Here I made a circle, but you can also make a square, a rectangle, any shape that you want. You can use a rolling pin to spread it out or um, I just used my hands. So after this, we are going to take our olive oil and a brush and we're just going to brush our olive oil over the surface of our pizza dough. A few notes about the dough, you can use a different flour if you choose. 
Um, you can also use a different yogurt if you don't particularly like Greek yogurt. It may affect the temperature times and cooking the temperature or the cooking time of your pizza and it might also affect the taste of your crust. All right, so after I coat the entire surface with olive oil, we are going to put our pizza crust in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes and we're gonna wait and monitor it and make sure that the top is going to be golden brown before we take it out. While our pizza crust is cooking in the oven, we're going to prepare our toppings. So I love pizza because it's very versatile. You can use any toppings that you want. You can add any vegetables, proteins, or any other toppings really. Here I have mozzarella, parmesan, I use turkey pepperoni, and a tomato basil marinara sauce. The nice thing about pizza is that any of these ingredients are replaceable. You can use any kinds of cheeses that you want. You can completely get rid of the cheese if you want. You could replace this turkey pepperoni with a different kind of protein or vegetables. And you can choose a different sauce for the pizza as well. Some people like Alfredo or marinara or no sauce on their pizza. After 10 to 12 minutes or when our crust is golden on top as it is here, we are going to remove the pan from the oven and we're going to reduce heat to 350 degrees in the oven. Now we are going to do the fun part, which is adding the topping. So here I have one fourth cup marinara sauce and I'm just going to pour it over my crust and then spread it around. You can use more or less sauce on your crust and then one fourth cup depending on your preference. Next, we are going to coat the entire pizza with mozzarella cheese. So here again, I pre-measured out one fourth cup of mozzarella cheese. Again, you can use more or less. Then I'm going to add half of my Parmesan cheese as well. So in total, you'll use one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. And then I am going to add my 17 slices or 30 grams of turkey pepperonis. At this time, feel free to Incorporate any fresh produce, any additional proteins that you want. As we talked about before, fresh produce is a great way to incorporate fresh fruits and vegetables to your pizza. It's a great way to get your daily recommended intake as well. So now I have the toppings, pepperonis, and I'm going to finish the rest off with Parmesan cheese to layer it on top. All right, so now we're going to put it back in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes or until our cheese is completely melted and our turkey pepperonis are a little bit crisp. After eight to 10 minutes or until your cheese is fully melted and your pepperonis begin to crisp, take your pizza out of the oven, let it cool down a little bit, cut it into as many slices as you would like and enjoy. The ingredients total cost about $23.13. However, there are some of these items such as the flour, the extra virgin olive oil that you might already have at home. So each pizza costs about $3.15. Um, this pizza is about 870 calories. It has 44 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs, and 28 grams of fat. Here is our finished product. This recipe makes one serving of a pizza. The prep time was about 10 minutes and the cook time takes about 20 minutes, bringing our total time to about 30 minutes to make. Thanks for watching, enjoy. Mm -hmm.